This year's theme, as most of you must be knowing, is miniature paintings. And today we are here to celebrate different aspects of art, mainly music, dance and drama. Kalapur provides the biggest platform for celebration of art and music in our school. And I personally am extremely proud to be a part of this. It allows us students to show our creative side. Our school is at the top when it comes to academics, but it is not far behind when it comes to creativity. We are extremely proud to have the most finest and talented group of artists in our school. Today is their time to shine. Witness what creativity can do. With that said, we have got nine mind-blowing acts lined up for you today. But before we move on, we would like to invite KMM to the stage and share her views and opinions with us. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I hope that you know that um, in, the, in terms of the highest order of thinking, and you know that memorizing is one of the lowest orders, right? In terms of the highest purpose of thinking, creativity is at the top. What you learn doesn't have any function in the world unless you can create something. And art draws directly on your capacity to be creative. Therefore, I really do believe, as uh, your representative just said, that art through music, through drama, through all of the different expressions of creative writing, through dance, through um, sculpture, through painting, any way that you express your imagination and create something new is indeed the highest form of learning. And there's much research to indicate that if you are exercising your imagination regularly, you will do better academically as well. It's that aspect of your character which allows you to directly manifest what is in your heart. And that's why art is so important. I'm also extremely proud of the quality of the art department program, visual arts and uh, performing arts across the school. And I'm looking forward to this program this morning. Thank you. Um, thank you for the wonderful words. Uh, so to begin with, we have a Hindustani uh, music performance by the Balakrishna sisters. They will be presenting to you an adaptation of a very famous bhajan that is also Gandhiji's favorite. It is Vaishnava Vajantu. So please uh, welcome Lavanya and Aronima.
Okay, uh, so that was a beautiful uh, melody to start our day with. Next up is the band Electrodes with the music genre Power Pop. It is a pop, uh, popular music genre that draws its in inspiration from 1960s British and American uh, rock music. It typically incorporates a combination of musical devices such as strong melodies, clear vocals, crisp vocal harmonies and prominent gu guitarists. So presenting to you, Electrodes. Everyone, we are the Electrodes. And I'll give you a brief, brief introduction about my members. So on uh, lead guitarist we have Costa. Just Kirit on rhythm guitarist. Agam the drummer. She's the harmony and I'm punk and be the vocalist. So today we'll be singing Sweet Home Alabama and um, hit me with the best shot. So hope you enjoy it.
now have for you Funky Blue Pandas performing for us Alternative Rock. Alternative Rock is a genre of music that emerged from independent music underground of 1980s. So I would like to call upon stage Funky Blue Pandas. Enthusiastic audience, are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Wow, great, wonderful. Uh, there's, there's a long history behind our name, so ignore that. But today we have two songs for you. Uh, the first one is Hysteria, Hysteria by Muse. So we have Isha and me, Liza, on the vocal. We have Helene on the guitar, Ayman on the bass, uh, Adya on the keyboard, and Yas on the drum. So we're gonna do a sound check first, real quick.
Um, a huge round of applause for them again. Um,